For part two of Monsters I Hope Return and Monster Hunter Rise, we are once again going to skip the monsters that I feel are standards and are going to be there in general. And we're just going to go straight in with number one, which is Ian Garriga. Another monster that a lot of people don't like fighting, but I think we need our loud and obnoxious Bird Wyvern Rathian clone just because of those reasons. It is loud, it is obnoxious, it will set you in fire and poison you, and it is basically just a Bird Wyvern version of Rathian. It's an absolutely fantastic monster. It is one of the monsters that definitely needs to be added in because it just runs around crazy, it will knock you down, it will scream at you, and yeah, it's absolutely fantastic. We need this monster. And next up, we have Shen Galrin. Don't know if I'm saying that correctly, but we need this monster because the only mainline game that this monster has been in is Monster Hunter 2 and then the portable versions of it as well. And then it's just been relegated to the Monster Hunter Freedom and Monster Hunter Online games with its last appearance being in Monster Hunter Frontier Z, I'm sure it was. Let me just double check. Yeah, Monster Hunter Frontier Z back in 2016. And this is a weird looking monster. It's... it's tentacly, I want to say. It, it, it's a bug, but it, it looks more like tentacles to me. It looks like a shellless Hermitor or Cenotaur, is the way I've always described it. But it's, it's one of these monsters that needs to come back, at least in the main series. Obviously, it's still... You're still able to fight it in the Frontier in the online game, but it needs to be in a mainline game and hopefully Rise will actually do that. And that leads us on to the next one. Which is Yamasukami or Yamasukami. I'm not sure how to say this one properly either. Again, another monster which I'm sure has been relegated only to the Monster Hunter Frontier and um, online games. So... This monster is the exact same reasoning as the previous one. It needs to come back, needs to have more people fighting it, and not just people who are able to get access to Frontier and online, and just give us a really, really awesome, yet weird octopus monster. And obviously the final monster on my list, for this video at least, is Kushala Deora. Obviously this monster was going to be here. This is an absolutely fantastic Elder Dragon to fight. If you do not know what you're doing with this monster, you are not going to hit it. If you don't know how to get rid of the wind around it, you're not getting near it. It's just an absolutely fantastic monster to fight. It moves around more than you would think for an Elder Dragon, although all the Elder Dragons seem to move around quite a lot unless they're just massive behemoth things, but Kishala de Aura is a fantastic monster to fight. We need monsters that can just blow you around constantly, and this monster spends a lot of time in the air, much like Rathian and Rathalos. But at that, we need an Elder Dragon that does it too, so we have a reason to use the wire bug to stay in the air a lot more. Now, obviously you can do that with the Insect Glaive as well, if we're getting the same kind of Insect Glaive as we get in World. But with this, I think combining the Insect Glaive or other weapons with the wire bug will make it so much easier for melee users to just keep the pressure on Kushala de Aura. And saying keeping the pressure is kind of a pun with Kushala de Aura there. But those are the monsters that I hope are coming back soon. Not soon, but in Monster Hunter Rise. And as I said, monsters that I've not put into this are 
the ones like Teostra, Lanastra, Rajang, because I feel those monsters are just going to be there anyway. So there's really no point in saying that I hope they come back because they're going to be there, I assume. But anyway guys, thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. If you have a list of monsters that you would like to see return, let me know in the comment section below. And I will see you all next time. Bye now.